Fort Moore. What a great name for that fort. It's more than more than fitting. I had the pleasure, the honor, the privilege of getting to know the owner of that handle, General Harold Moore, and his dear wife, Julie. The first time I met Hal, we went to church together. We went to the old Latin mass, and Hal knew his Latin. Now that told me something about him. But I really found out just how gracious and generous he could be when he allowed and trusted this Hollywood clown enough to let me into his personal life, his story, and particularly his experiences in the Idrang Valley. Now that was a profound experience for me. What Hal, his men endured, shouldered, and accomplished is something that few people will ever have to face. I felt a special responsibility to do honor to his story, not just for him and those who served under him, but for their families too. I was glad to be in the rarefied air of a true hero. He introduced me to his men and to a man they revered him. Then he said, here, I want you to meet the rest of my boys. And he he took me to their graves. We stopped at each headstone. He introduced me to them, told me who they were. He prayed for them every day. And he spoke to them, not as if they were gone, but as if they were still here among us. He told me that he thought of them as if they were his own sons. And he harbored an agony of soul that he hadn't joined those who had sacrificed their lives. The mark of a great commander is that he served those under his command. This he did and continued to do. Now, from all reports, he didn't seem to have any fear walking around the battlefield, bullets whizzing past his ears at LZ X-ray. He focused on doing the job he had to do and to take care of his boys. One of the big lessons Hal taught me was that no matter what the plan is, no matter what the conditions are, it's always going to be, you know, it's going to go awry. So you have to have a plan A, B, C, D, through Z and beyond and leave no stone unturned, which he did. I mean, we did some training prior to filming at Ben Fort Benning so that we could pretend to be rangers. And Hal taught me that you always prepare by going out and gathering as much information as you can about the enemy, the battlefield, whatever it happened to be. He knew every rock and bump of the terrain of LZ X-ray before he and his men got there. So one morning we were having a paintball competition. It was the actors and the fakers against the rangers and we were having breakfast and, you know, I thought to myself, I'm just gonna do some method acting here. I'm gonna go and and scout the paintball field like, like Hal would have done if it was a real battlefield before everybody gets there. So. I grabbed a handful of chow and got there an hour early. I scouted the whole place up and down sideways. I knew exactly which side I wanted and where the advantages might be. I mean, we had actors and fakers against Hal and the Rangers and the fakers managed to win and capture the flag, you know? And uh, I had this, you know, shit eating grin on my face and he looked at me and he he just, he just, I just said, I, you know, yeah, I was only doing what you taught me, Hal. He got this scary resolve in his eye, and he said, "Okay, we didn't inspect the field. I got, I should have done that." So while we had a smoke break, he did a reconnoiter of the battlefield with his guys, and sure enough, in the next round, he soundly handed us our asses. I mean, there were all kinds of uh, ambushes, nasty surprises, horrible things out there waiting for us that we had no idea about. He got serious. We all got a big kick out of it. (laughs) I was pleased to see him before he passed away. I went to his house in Alabama and his son Greg was there and we visited with Hal for a while and uh, he was still as tough as I remembered. But you know, at the end of it all, he just wanted a hug. So we all hugged him, said goodbye. It wasn't long after that that I found he'd passed on. And I know he's gone to a better place. I'm sure he's got, he's won his wings. He's got a harp and a nightshirt and everything. He's, he's good. But having known him was a highlight in my life. I befriended a man who had been, he'd been to the edge, done it all, lived to talk about it, 
and it was a real honor for me to portray him. And it's an honor to speak before all of you today and share the memory of this great man, this great American, General Harold Moore. God bless.